Today here at eTrailer, we're going to be taking a look at a 2021 Ford Bronco, but we're going to enable it to do more. We're putting the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller. So the Prodigy 3 is going to have a little bit more options than some of your standards, but the standard type of features with the brake controller is we're going to have our adjustments. So it goes all the way up to 12.8, but that's for your bigger stuff. And then you can go down as far as you want and click OK right here. Then we have a little slider, which is on the bottom, a little bit different than before, but you're going to have that with all your other brake controllers, your manual override. These are the adjustments. But the cool thing about this one is, see this little book right here? Click it. We're going to have a bunch of different options. So let's go into display. Okay. And we can go through brightness. We can go through contrast. And my favorite is color. So if you're going for like a specific type of look in your vehicle we can cycle through all these and pick whatever color you think looks the best in your car I kind of like pink so we're gonna go with pink but then also we're gonna have the brake type and this is just gonna say electric or hydraulic pick whichever ones you have on your vehicle and then that's basically it you confirm it, done deal. So this does have a little bit more customizable options, but we still just have the standard manual and the adjustments. So what you want to do once this is installed, we want to take the trailer out and then we can kind of dial in that specific trailer. Let's say it's kind of in between, not too heavy, not too light. Maybe around nine would be good. Click OK, try it out whenever you're going. And this is a proportional braking system, so we don't have to just override it like this. This is kind of just for emergencies, but it's going to apply the same amount of pressure you're applying to your brakes. And all in all, is just going to save your Bronco's brakes from getting a little heated whenever you have bigger stuff. But if you do have bigger stuff, we have this top button right here. Right there. We're going to click it. And we're going to have different boost settings. So for the heavier trailers, you go to B1. If it starts to get a little bit higher up, B2, and then B3. They have it all in the instructions, so it all just depends on what kind of trailer you will be hauling. I don't really think we're going to use B3 just because of the capacity we can carry with our Bronco, but just know the options are there. The Prodigy P3 is definitely on the higher end. It's got the big screen in the front. You have a bunch of different color options, which is cool, and big buttons. So then moving down would be one that still has the screen, but the buttons on the top and the side. And you have this kind of manual override, which is a little different than the one that's down here. So that's another option for you. Or you can get just the bare bones, which is just going to have a light and an override switch. I like having the screen and the fact that I can change the color of the screen is kind of cool. So I can kind of add a little bit of style to my vehicle. So I would definitely go with the Prodigy P3. There are two different ways we can hook this up. It all depends on what comes with your Bronco. If you have the factory tow package, all you're gonna need, which is all included with this kit, is the brake controller, but also a cable that's gonna convert our factory harness to our brake controller harness. And that's all included with this kit. If you don't have a tow package on your Bronco, we do have a wiring kit for you that you're gonna to need to grab separately so you can install all this. First, we wanna find our wiring. So you just go underneath the steering wheel, closer to the center console, and you just reach up there, and it's gonna be stuck to a little bracket. So once you get it down, this is what you're pulling off. And then at first, I was like, okay, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Well, this is a dummy plug. You just push this in and pull that out. Here is the harness that you need for your factory tow package. We can line it up, click it in. On the dummy plug, what you can do is you can kind of pry this back a little bit, slide this out, and then you can put this on the wiring that we just plugged in, because that'll give it a nice little spot to put it in there to keep the wires out of the way. Now let's find a good spot for it. I like to take it out from the center, so I think with the bracket that's included, I think this is the right spot. It's kind of where I want it. I can see it and it's not out of my arm's reach. So once you find your spot, you just want to make sure that there's nothing behind the spot that we're going to mount it because we have to mount up this bracket. It does come with some self tappers and some screws to mount it to the brake controller. So I'm going to do that. 
So you will need a small little tool right here, especially if you mount it right here because it's kind of hard to get to. But an option around that is we do have another option. This is more of a permanent mount, the one right here. It'll snap right over top of it so you can clip it and then unplug it and then put it in your center console or something. So you do get two different options with the kit. Now with it mounted up, you can take our wiring and we just need to plug this in like that and then we can adjust it back to where we want. And ideally it lights up on us, which it is. So we're good. It's got power. We can just tuck it all the way back up in here. It's a decent amount of wiring, so you can find a spot pretty easily. Back behind this dash. So we know that we have power running to it, but we want to make sure it's talking to the seven way. So we have this fancy little test box. And when I do the manual override, it should give us some lights, which it is. So we know that power is going to our trailer. What you want to do is just hook up your trailer. Maybe just go in a parking lot or something and override it. And if the brakes start to engage, you know that everything's talking correctly and you're good. And that's just about it for a look at the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller on our 2021 Ford Bronco.